For a very long time, Poland and its citizens have been functioning in Norwegian's minds. Today, the ideal political and economical dealings enhance the growth of tourist business. Many of Polish people always will be remembered in Norwegian history. One of them was Adam Stefan Zvonkowski. He was born in 1815 in Warsaw. After he had got injured in rebellion's fights, he arrived to Copenhagen, where he met Carl August Guldberg. After Carl's suggestions, Adam arrived to Norway in 1834. Soon after that, they established Guldberg and Zvonkowski Skilling Magazine Weekly. Their purpose was, among other things, to disseminate education around the middle and lower society class. Meanwhile, the press and the publishing house had just started to expand. Zvonkowski was also sharing the responsibility for translating Adam Mickiewicz's work into the Norwegian language. Moreover, he contributed to the establishment of the Catholic Church and hiring the Catholic priests. He had the opportunity because in that time the Norway's freedom of religion wasn't such an important aspect. Adam Stefan Zvonkowski passed away in 1885 in Warsaw. Another Pole who won the fame in Norway was Ludwig Szczeciński Deralicz. He was born in 1844 in our Voivodeship's region Suwałki. Ludwig was a Polish photographer who went to Christiania in Norway with his friends and brother in 1865. Thanks to his unique talent, he became one of the most requested photographers in the city. His work gave him numerous international photographic awards, including deaths from Paris, Dresden, Philadelphia and Christiania. Ludwig Szczeciński is involved in the inception of the Norway Photographic Society and Photographers' Union when he was a chairman. In 1882, he received a Norwegian visitation. In 1888, he became the royal family photographer. He committed a suicide in 1894. Another Pole whose music got appreciated in Norway is Miroslav Karlos Kaczmarczyk. He is the leader of the Loud Jazz Band, a guitarist, a composer and a lecturer in a guitar class. He came to Norway because of his girlfriend who studied organ at local academy of music. That was the only reason. It wasn't easy at first. He hasn't known anyone there and he was unemployed. The music helped him in a difficult moment. It gave him some time to think. Despite the immigration, Miroslav still wanted to continue LJB being in a band. It worked thanks to a good economical situation in Norway. We rarely talk about Poland-Norway relations, but in the examples of three stories described in this film, we can say that Norway is an excellent place to expand your passions or interests and also start your job career.